Hello, welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at this classic sideshow piece, the life-size bust of Patient Zero. Now, I've had this particular piece in my collection for years and years, but I've never done a good review on it. So let's go ahead and spin around and take a closer look. All right, so this is probably one of my top three pieces from Sideshow. Uh, I absolutely love this uh, bust. The sculpt work in the paint app is just top notch and they don't put out anything like this anymore to this level of detail, in my opinion. This is legacy Sideshow stuff when they were in their prime. And uh, I don't know, they've really kind of fallen off to me uh, over the years compared to what they used to put out anyway. Now this is uh, obviously the life-size bust. They had a full quarter scale statue uh, with the same sculpt. And uh, that's also a great piece. I love this line that they did. Um, I have a, another quarter scale from this, but this Patient Zero bust is definitely my favorite and if you just look at all the sculpt work and the lines here and all of the mottling and tones that they have is just fantastic it's just so well done look at the eyes but they really captured that classic zombie decay. We have that dry leathery skin and we still have these glossy wounds. Through here. But this thing is just so badass and it will never leave my collection. This is actually a sample that they sent out um, for production approval. And again, I have it like right next to uh, my TV. It's prominently displayed in my collection and I'm sure that you've seen it in many of my collection tours. But I'm finally getting around to showing you guys a good look at it. But this thing is beyond ridiculous. I really, really wish that they we're still putting out stuff like this and still cater to us horror collectors like they used to. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that's our sideshow anymore. But when they had the Universal license and they were pumping out the core scale figures and life-size busts and doing this series, <clears throat> I mean, they were untouchable. And I wish that they would go back to those days. All right, guys, so that's about all there is to go over on this piece. Now he measures in at about 19 inches tall. And uh, I just really love this. I need, at some point I need to stop slacking and pick up the quarter scale uh, statue of this, but um, uh, I'm, perfectly happy with just having the life-size bust for now again it's a favorite piece of mine hopefully you love it as much as I do um, it's become a rare piece to have uh, you don't see too many of them pop up 
anymore. I think that the uh, collectors that have them uh, really want to keep them in their collection. So uh, when they do pop up for sale and you're interested, I would just go ahead and grab it. Uh, you won't be disappointed. I will leave you guys with a higher angle 360 view of him and uh, some studio shots. As always, feel free to leave any questions or comments and I'll be happy to answer them. And feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.